So this is tea from Starbucks, but I paid not just for the flavor of the tea, but also the flavor of the cup. So here at Vitruvius, we love coffee and tea, but what we didn't know until recently is how the container that holds the liquid acts sort of as a filter that affects the taste of our beverage. So there are a few different types of filters. We have activated carbon, ion exchange, distillation, and reverse osmosis. But today we're only gonna be talking about one, and that's activated carbon. So activated carbon is actually made out of charcoal that has small little nooks and crannies in it. And that allows for larger particles to get stuck there, and then for smaller metal ions to then react with the carbon and be removed from the water as the water passes through. So let me ask you a question. Which material do you think is the worst for a coffee cup to be made out of? The answer is actually plastic. So plastic is the worst because it has leftover monomers from the initial chemical reaction that formed. So plastic is made out of really long hydrocarbon chains. The longer or the shorter the hydrocarbon chain is depends on the certain physical properties we want the cup to have. But long story short, it's just hydrocarbon chains. And once the chemical reaction is over, pretty much you have leftover small hydrocarbon monomers that are just stuck to the cup, but they're not chemically bonded to it. And so when you pour the drink, these monomers actually diffuse into the drink. And so when you're sipping tea or coffee, you're actually also tasting plastic in it. That's nasty. So if this cup were made out of acetaldehyde, that plastic would just go into the drink and I'll be drinking it. And so in this case, water acts sort of as a filter because it filters out the uh, residual small plastic chains that are just glued onto the plastic itself. But that's not the only reason why plastic cups suck. Plastic cups also have really high permeation of UV and CO2. That means that CO2 from around us goes through the cup, reacts with the flavonoids and other molecules of your drink, and that affects the taste. I almost spilled my drink. And then the second thing is actually UV. So UV comes in, it reacts with the plastic, and then it also goes in into the water. And so all these cascading chemical reactions definitely produce byproducts that leach into the water. And so in a way, that plastic acts as a charcoal filter because it begins reacting with the uh, molecules around. But those chemical reactions then affect the tea or the coffee inside. And so by the end of this video, I genuinely hope that you guys understand that everything comes down to a chemical reaction. The material of your coffee cup or your tea cup, whatever, will act as a filter that reacts with the flavonoids and the other molecules of your drink. And at the end of the day, that's the thing that's gonna affect the taste. And that's the thing that will decide whether your drink has an authentic taste or if it's been altered. So now that we've established why plastic is such a bad material, let's talk about metal, specifically steel and aluminum. So just imagine this is a steel cup. The good thing about steel is that it doesn't give your coffee or your tea a new flavor. But the bad thing about steel and aluminum is that it can actually take away some of that flavor, acting as its own filter. And so this science is kind of complicated. Uh, coffee has over a thousand compounds, and so it's not always clear how these compounds react with metal. What we do know, however, is that with aluminum materials, some of the soluble flavonoids of your coffee or your tea can actually go and be absorbed by the metal lining of your container. And so that might be the reason why you think your drink tastes just slightly a little dull when you're drinking it from a metal container. So metal containers are not the best, but they are a bit better than the plastic ones and definitely way less gross. Let's talk about paper, what this Starbucks cup is made out of. So paper is actually just as bad as plastic. Paper is wax on the inside to prevent the tea or the coffee to leach out. Paper is also extremely porous, allowing for CO2 molecules and then UV to enter as well. And so what happens is that the wax inside reacts with the coffee or the tea that you have, and that imparts a flavor to it. 
and then a lot of CO2 comes in and that imparts a flavor to it and then the UV comes in causes new chemical reactions that also damage the flavor of your drink. Although if you ask me I still think that paper cups are way better than plastic cups because at least here I'm not drinking plastic too. All right, so we've talked about paper, we've talked about metal, we've talked about plastic. Let's talk about two more materials, ceramics and glass. Now these materials are really good for drinking tea and coffee out of. They're both unreactive and so they don't impart any flavor onto the tea or the coffee or they don't take it away, right? They have low CO2 permeability so the CO2 doesn't filter into the drink and react with the flavonoids. However, there is still two small differences. One, glass has a bit more UV permeability than ceramics. And so that UV permeability excites the molecules in the drink and it causes a few cascading reactions. But this is still a tight race. And so in this tight race, we're gonna bring up one small factor that will decide it, who, that will decide which one is better. And so we haven't brought it up when we were talking about plastic, paper, and metal, because they weren't that good. There were so many other factors that affect the taste that we didn't have to talk about this one small point. But when we're comparing ceramics and glass, it's time to bring it up. And that is this. Coffee tastes the best when it's between 100 degrees Fahrenheit I'm sorry, 120 degrees Fahrenheit and 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And so, the winner of this competition is the material that can insulate the best, and that's ceramics. Glass does not insulate as well as ceramics, and as such, coffee will not taste as good in glass as it would in ceramics. They're both great materials, but ceramics is the best because it doesn't impart any flavor it doesn't allow any CO2 or UV to come into the drink and it keeps the drink at the ideal temperature. So guys, in this video, we've answered why chemical reactions affect the taste of whatever you're drinking and that not all materials are made equally. Some materials are just better than others. So the next time that you grab a cup of gel, just remember that not all cups are made equal. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Ciao.